Hello everyone, we are back for another video that is going to cover more of the advanced uh, features of outpost building, which includes some of the cargo links, both in the same system and if you're going in different systems. Um, it is a lot more complex, I've seen a lot of confusion uh, on the internet, so I just wanted to um, make this video to help help you guys out. Uh, it is it gets very complicated very quickly, but hopefully this clears some of that confusion. Um, some, uh, I, I, I want to start off with a, a couple tips that, that you might, you might use. Um, as I said in the previous video, there's only so many outposts you can make, so maybe you improved or you find different planets, whether that's that planetary habitation, and you no longer need this one, you found a better planet that has the same resources. Um, what you can do is come over to your beacon and you can delete the whole outposts um, at once. It's not very, it, it doesn't really say it, but uh, anywhere else in the game, but if you come over here, instead of renaming them, you could hold your ETS button on on a controller and it will remove the entire outpost. I'm not going to do it in this for this video, but you can remove it all at once and that frees up that outpost slot. Um, another tip, um, there's so many different plants in this game as you all know. If you go to your star map, you can zoom out a little bit. You can you you know all your planets by this little symbol above it. It helps keep track of which which planets, which systems actually have outposts in. Um, I've made quite a few so far, um, learning all, all learning all this stuff. Uh, so yeah, I have, I have multiple systems and some systems have multiple outposts within them. But that, that's just a little tip to help um, you remember where exactly <laughs> your outposts are. All right, so now that we're here, so if you want to set up um, a link, there there are some some missions out there. Um, I know Constellation has one that you're supposed to supply some some material to Jemson, or there's other places. Um, it's easier if you're if you find like if I find find this resource in the same system, it's easier with a cargo link. But if it's not, then you have to you have to build a inter-system cargo link, which requires helium three to function. Um, so let's let's pretend um, this is like lead or the the, the tetrafluorides, and, and build both the the typical normal cargo link and the more advanced one um, just to sh just to show everyone so again set up your stick scanner and push ETS to get to your outpost thing I like the the, the, car the toggle view um, so first step is get to the miscellaneous tab and as you can see here you can read a little bit about it cargo links requires a ton of ton of iron um, each Planet, only, you can only have three of these, uh, so it does limit you. Uh, if you have like a massive uh, outpost, you'll probably end up using all three of them. Um, if you're bringing in like you, like your main outpost, um, maybe you're bringing in aluminum and aluminum from somewhere, aluminum and ber beryllium um, from one system. Maybe again, you have maybe some tungsten, some iron. Cobalt, nickel, all those are really important. Uh, and then, so start, for starters, I'm just going to start off with the cargo link. Um, this is like if you have two two outposts in the same system, maybe maybe this is your secondary base, and your main base that you want to want to use is on a different planet. You would use these cargo links to automatically send resources from this planet to the other planet. It will also have to have a cargo link 
next to it, and then you then you link them. So I'm going to just start this. Uh, one thing I like to do, do is set it close, but also get rid of a bunch of rocks. Um, I think the rocks are annoying, uh, a lot harder to run. So um, also you can your beacon is where you land. So if you want to put your stairs or something somewhere somewhat close, you could do that. So I'm going to build this here. Um, as it says in that little description on the left, uh, links the two. You can transfer goods between them. Items in the outgoing container will be transported to the incoming in a different one. Um, and there's no fuel required. If you see here, um, this one uses a little bit different uh, uh, components, but it also has an operating cost of five helium three. You can, I'll get to that in a minute, but let's let's start off with just just the typical cargo. Um, you can rotate it and then I'm gonna build it. All right, so let's get into the modify mode. So you can actually see a little bit better. So <clears throat> one of these containers is the outgoing, one is incoming. You can see up in that top left corner, this, this, this side over here is incoming. This is the outgoing. So if we're move, if we wanna move our stuff, our lead, our, our, our tetrafluorides. If you want to move this to the other planet, again, all you do is create an outlink, outlink uh, from here to the outgoing, right? So outgoing, and then you'll have to do both of these ones here, both boxes. All right. And that is pretty much it. It's pretty, pretty easy. Um, hold B to get out of the build. Um, so now that we have the link set up between our storage and our cargo link, we have to go up here to, there's a computer. There's one on this side. There's one on the other side. Activate it and like I was saying earlier, you have to have another cargo link somewhere else in the system in order to link it. Um, once there is something, you it'll be in the available output out, outpost. You click on it and link it pretty easy. And then it will start um, transporting all this stuff over to the other one. Pretty, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Um, but say this is your only outpost in the system and either you have a mission or you have another, your, your, your main base is in a different system and you want this stuff to go there. Um, so you don't have to come here. You don't have to manually travel here to grab your lead. So let's, let's, let's do that. Let's build a cargo link that's inner system. So this one is more complex. So I'm going to, again, just do the same thing. I am going to build this, go into modify mode. And for, for this video, I'm going to actually delete these links, um, if you hover over them, if you hold X on the controller, you can hold it, it goes away. I'm gonna do it to the other one, and I'm gonna do it here. All right, so again, you do the same thing over here. We're gonna link this to, here's the incoming, there's the outgoing link here to it makes you do it the outgoing link here to there and then again from this storage to the 
outgoing container. So now that we have just the link set up, you can see that it goes from this, this lead goes to the storage and it will automatically then go to the outgoing. Um, if the outgoing is full, like uh, it, it would only happen, I guess in a couple situations that either you don't have enough helium three here, the operating cost, so ships never come to take it or work in your other system, your other outposts, if whatever bots storage container uh, is being used, if that's full, it will stop this flow. You're going to have supply chain issues. Um, so yeah, it'll just back up um, and you'll, you'll end up having full bots. So, uh, so yeah, if, if if you see it at your main base and you're there and you're like, hey, where's where's all my lead at? You might have to check to make sure the links are good. Um, then maybe you'll you'll probably have to fly here, check out this base, uh, make sure there's helium three being supplied to it, or um, make sure the links are still good. Uh, I I have seen people say that the links get messed up. So you might just have to mess with it again, either delete, restart it, restart the links. Um, so yeah, that's kind of that. So the the big part here is, hey, I don't, this thing isn't going to go anywhere without helium three. So there, there's there's two way to, ways to do it. Uh, one is harder, but doesn't require maintenance. And in order to do that, you have to you have to have a planet that has helium three in order to pump it, extract it just like this, and then you could hook it up to here and hook it up to this this bots here. This bots is where helium three needs to come in in order to power it. It's not over here. It's, you don't you don't link helium three over here or here like I see on online uh, but you need to link it over here so in order to get helium 3 technically easiest way is if you find a planet that has it you can mine it and set it up over there a second one is if you want to you you could you can do a cargo link and bring it in from a different planet if you if this planet doesn't have it then you have you would end up having in the incoming, you would have helium three come in. You can then move it over here, make another gas gas storage here, and then link it up there. Kind of uh, kind of crazy, but it is what it is. Sometimes you have to do that if you have a planet that has a lot of good resources that you really need. Um, but there is one method you can do that requires some manual stuff but it's more simple and that that's basically just you bring in your own helium 3 you bring it on your ship you put on your person or your ship and then you basically just store it here so i'm going to make a gas storage right here um i'm actually going to make two because why not and then you, 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 then you're not here as much. So here's this, and then again, create an out out link, output link from here to here. Um, as you can see, there's only two options here. You can either out make make it go out, or link it up to the helium three uh, tank, if you want to call it that. So there's that. I'm gonna create one for the other one. So there. You, there it is. Let's edit out of this. So last step, kind of on this one, is to fill those gas storage tanks with helium three that you brought on your person. So, so yeah, the next step is to fill these tanks with um, helium three so that your ship starts going. Um, 
So yeah, let's go into it. I, I brought some healing, healing leap three and drop it in here. Uh, this this one, you it, it could take all 100 units of healing leap three. It looks like you can hold 100 and 150 in each of these. So you could bring in 300 and that would set you up for a long time. Um, so it's being supplied up here. So every time like it, your ship takes off and takes takes materials to your other outposts, it will use five helium three. So again, it's one of those things. If if you notice that hey my my lead's not coming in, it might be that you're out of helium three. So so now set to set up the link. You come over to this computer. There's one on the other side too. So the last step in order for all this to start is to link your outposts. Again, you're gonna need a cargo link with the inner system and your other outpost. Um, I don't have an extra one laying around. I just have the default uh, Jimson one that's used for missions. But if there was another one, you just, again, push A here and it would link between the two. Um, as you can see on the left, it, the outgoing resources are lead and tetrafluorides. Um, yeah. So once you get that set up, uh, you'll have supply ships coming in, um, taking stuff out. Um, as you can see here, the outgoing lead tetrafluorides are here. That's going to be taken out. You can see that since that container is not full, all these stay empty until that is full. Nothing's nothing's staying here. And yeah, that that's pretty much pretty much it. Uh, this this inner system cargo took a lot of time to understand um, that this is the helium one, and then finding out a method or a couple methods that you could use to actually power this thing. So throughout your travels, you're definitely going to have to find a helium three planet. Um, I have one here. I can, I'll show it to you guys. Go out. I believe it's in this system. Not that one. It is this one here has this good good planet has helium iron all sorts of good stuff i can travel directly to it so yes here here here's my helium 3 outpost um there's the supply ship there and I have many different helium three outposts. Um, so you can see the one, two, <laughs> three, four, five sets. I didn't have much space to build. Um, as you can see, the little, the little resource vein. I placed my beacon not in a great spot but I used as many as, as I could in this little area and it, it gets the job done. I have plenty of helium three. Um, this one does a generator, powers it. This one will allow this to go off once it gets five. Right now it's being held up because it doesn't have five. Um, I didn't need this going off all the time I I have enough and I don't need anything urgent that I just made one you could you could link two and and get these ships off faster but it, I'm hitting my max capacity somewhere else um, so all the all the rest of these five are hitting this container um, I don't need helium 3 cent um, I don't have an active link from this system elsewhere. So I just have it all going to this gas. And if I need some, I just fly this planet, grab, grab the units, um, it's gonna be full. 
and then and then take off. But but yeah, that, that that's pretty much how you do it. Um, you can play around with it. it. Gets more complicated when if you're trying to manufacture manufacture components uh, automatically. Um, I'll have another video um, in a little bit. Uh, probably not anytime soon. Uh, I want to try to get some more uh, the, the perks for more of this more important, more special, uh, rare or ultra rare components. Uh, yeah, if you like this video, learn something from it, um, please subscribe for more YouTube videos to help grow the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.